In this tutorial, you will learn how to check the compliance of your nutrient management plan in SNAP+. Plus. After completing your plan, which includes detailed completion of the field screen, specifically the 590 restrictions, full rotations entered, and all manure and fertilizer assigned, navigate to the report screen. Before running the compliance check report, verify that all manure is applied. This can be checked for the current and future years by running the manure tracking report listed under the Nutrient Management Plan reports. It is also recommended that you check to make sure you have enough acres of each crop planned into the future. This can be verified by running the Crop Production Trends report, listed under the Farm Management reports. To check the plan for compliance, click on the Compliance Check report, listed under the Nutrient Management Plan reports, SNAP Plus will initiate an update to all fields and complete all needed calculations. The Compliance Check Report will appear. All compliance issues need to be addressed. For example, if there is soil loss issues on a field, crop rotation or tillage options should be realistically adjusted in the upcoming years. If there is a phosphorus index problem, rotation or tillage may need to be changed, or manure or phosphorus fertilizer applications may need to be adjusted. Any over-application of nitrogen or phosphorus needs to be adjusted to meet the 590 standard. If the application in question occurred prior to the plan completion, this should be noted in the narrative and only the upcoming years in the plan that have issues should be adjusted. Any issues with surface water quality management areas fall nitrogen applications or winter manure applications should be adjusted to meet the 590 standard unless the nutrients were applied prior to plan completion. Notes about the non-compliant application should be included in the narrative and future year plans should be adjusted accordingly. If there is an issue with too few soil samples on any particular field, additional samples should be taken as soon as possible, or a plan for the next round of soil sampling on the farm should include more samples. Whichever is to occur, it should also be noted in the narrative. After making adjustments, the report should be free of any compliance issues. But if any issues still exist, include an explanation of the issues in the narrative and contact the Land Conservation Office or Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade and Consumer Protection to get assistance in reaching compliance. This is how you check your nutrient management plan for compliance in SNAP+.